It's day 222 of being a girl. I'm in Washington, D.C., and I'm going to the White House to speak to the President of the United States. <gasps> I get to sit down with Joe Biden and now this news, and I get to ask him a few questions surrounding trans issues in the United States and talk to him about my transness. And I, I really just want to represent my community the best that I can. I'm ready to step up and show that trans people were not going anywhere and that trans kids, they deserve a fighting chance to be their true selves. That's who I'm talking about. Dylan Mulvaney, the Ulta spokesperson, the women's cosmetics firm, giant, if you will. Now, He's invited to the White House to meet with Drool and Joe to talk about trans issues in this country. This just shows you that all of us are right. All they care about is this one group of people. They have more rights than any other citizen of this country. They don't want unity. They don't want people getting along. They want all of us to agree with this transgender LGBTQ movement. And if we don't agree to it, they claim there'll never be democracy. The country will never come together because we're transphobic. We're anti-gay. No, we're not. We don't give a shit that this kid thinks he's a girl. He can do whatever he wants to get his attention. He's getting it. I don't give a shit about Dylan Mulvaney. And neither does Joe Biden, other than he'll probably try to sniff the guy when he's there. This is what the conservative people talk about. But all these liberal bleeding heart asshats they think the rest of the country is transphobic. We hate all these people. When quite frankly, I don't know anybody who gives a shit that Dylan Mulvaney thinks he's a girl or any other dude who thinks he's a girl for that matter. That is not a pressing issue in this country. Stacey Abrams running for governor in Georgia says abortion is the reason it, uh, prices are so high. Inflation is so high because Roe v. Wade got overturned. The hell is that nonsense? And Joe Biden supports her. So this clown, this cartoon character is going to go to the White House and meet with Biden and discuss what? What can this kid possibly tell Joe Biden that number one, he'll comprehend and number two, that he'll actually do because he does nothing good. So he's going to yes this fool to death and again sniff him a couple of times. They'll have a big media circus. Look at the Biden administration, how they embrace this community. This is not this country's issue. These people have their thing. Let them have it. Fix the problems that we have. Fix it. Joe Biden cannot fix it. Carmela Harris cannot fix it. Those clowns running Congress cannot fix it. Now, I'm not saying that a Republican would do better, but as far as I'm concerned, their views on what's going on make a lot of sense. Their policies they speak of make a lot of sense. All this administration does is spend money on nothing. Build back better. Nothing's built back. They actually gave $20 million to a small community in New Hampshire. I can't think of the name of the town. And you know what this community's doing with the $20 million? They're putting in heated sidewalks. Yes, heated sidewalks. Again, I don't know the name of the town, but the news spoke to some of the residents and they can't believe that the money is being wasted on heated sidewalks. Apparently there's a drug problem in this town. There's housing issues. Businesses are closing or closed because of the pandemic. And they're installing heated sidewalks. This is the democratic agenda. Waste money, spend money on nothing. 
and embrace clowns, characters like Dylan Mulvaney. That's what they embrace. And the rest of us all have to clap our hands and be on board with it. I, for one, will never be on board with it. I don't think it's right. But again, I don't care. Stop advertising it. Stop preaching it. It's an attention grab. You people know it. The entire country knows it. And they even know it. But they're going to continue to do it because they get the attention from these liberal fools. Let's just stop the games. Wake up. The midterms are 20 days away, maybe less now. Vote your conscience, but vote for things to get better. And if you choose to vote for a Democrat, make sure they at least talk a good game. Although if they get elected, they're not going to do anything. But make sure they at least make sense that they want things to change. Because this fool in D.C. and the rest of his crime family, they don't want nothing, nothing but injustice. They don't want unity. They don't want harmony. They want us to be at odds with each other. Their biggest plan is use the abortion issue for votes. They don't care about crime. They don't care about inflation. They care about transgender people and abortions. That's it. Change this country because we're screwed. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in and have a great night.